Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans here. So here you see that I have my uh, Redmi Note 11 to have to install this uh, custom ROM on this one. So we have made a revisit of uh, this particular device a uh, few days back uh, where we have covered that uh, this uh, particular uh, OS just is stuck in the with the Android uh, 13. So now we will be installing the Android 15 on this uh, particular uh, one. So in my screen, let me share it. So here I have the uh, Project Inv Infinity, which is official, I believe. So this is the 2.7. Earlier also we have installed uh, Project uh, Infinity. Uh, again, I'm going to install uh, Project Infinity 2.7, which is based on Android 15. So here we have the link, so I have already downloaded it and you see that uh, we have the Leica camera included and uh, you need to use the official Orange Fox recovery. I have, uh, I, I leave the all the links in the description of this video, you can uh, use it. First let me uh, have all the files in here. So here you see that uh, I have the Orange Fox recovery and then the Project Infinity 2.7 which also includes the uh, G apps. First thing that I have to do is I have to flash the orange fox recovery for that reason I need to open okay so here I have my uh, ADB fastboot tool latest one so I will open this one and open here so once you are in this uh, particular uh, folder you can just uh, click here and type uh, CMD and open which will open the uh, CMD in your machine so from here only we are going to uh, provide the code and then install the what uh, install the uh, recovery so here I am currently in the uh, uh, hyper OS so I can directly I will just uh, this is already with unlocked with the blue bootloader so I will just turn it off okay so now I have to open this in the bootloader mode for that reason I will just click uh, volume down and power once the vibrate comes you can see here it is in the fast boot so I have uh, connected this with my uh, in the laptop so I will just connect in the fast put right so you are now connected here in the uh, computer I can type uh, fast boot devices so I can see uh, the device is connected now so fast boot boot fast boot boot and then uh, I will just open uh, this here I have the so here I have the orange fox uh, stable one. I will just extract it in here. So here you see all the uh, recovery and other things are there. So I can uh, just uh, uh, drag and drop this uh, recovery image in here and do. So this is just a simple process. I believe it will work. It is taking some time. Yeah, so now uh, the device is uh, booted to Orange Fox uh, recovery. Now I have to install the Orange Fox recovery. It is just booted, it is not at all uh, installed. So I have to install the Orange Fox recovery first. Okay, so I will go to ADB um, side load. So I have uh, this uh, both options. I will click here. So now you see the side load is turned on. Here if I type uh, ADB uh, devices. See the side load is uh, happened. So ADB side load, and then I will drag and drop this uh, Orange Fox uh, stable in here. Okay. So now this Orange Fox uh, recovery is uh, installing both in the A and B partition. If you want to know about what is A B uh, partition or slot, I have made a dedicated video on this. You can watch it uh, in the right side uh, I button. Okay, uh, so now uh, we need to reboot to the uh, Orange Fox recovery again. So for that reason, I'll go here and uh, go to reboot and then I'll select the recovery. Okay, I will also try to install this Orange Fox recovery right after installing the custom ROM so that uh, we will be safe. Also before doing any of this, make sure you back up uh, all your data, which is a really, really important thing to do. Okay, so now we are in the Orange Fox recovery. I will again do the uh, ADB side load. Before that, I need to uh, format the data. So I will go to wipe and uh, uh, 
uh, wipe the dalvik uh, metadata data and internal storage as well so that's not an uh, issue so i'll do that okay after doing that i need to format the data as well this is the important uh, step so i will type yes because as it is in miui it will have some restructuring thing so yeah i will again reboot to the recovery this is uh, uh, this step is important in uh, multiple places but if you are coming from uh, different custom rom they may may not uh, require uh, this uh, data formatting yes uh, typing this and this thing so yeah now i have uh, this one and i will go here and uh, select this wipe doll with cache and cache and then uh, i will uh, do the cdb side load enabling okay so here in the cmd i am just uh, type uh, adb side load and then now i can uh, side load the custom rom this project infinity x android 15 that's all it will take some time so let's just be patient so here you see that uh, the device is uh, starting the adb side load feature and installing zip file and it is uh, flashing it in the inactive partition which is a partition which means the current partition is the b partition so uh, usually when you install the custom rom in ab partition uh, the custom rom will always uh, install it in the inactive partition for example if you are currently uh, using your device in a partition it will install in the b partition in the next reboot uh, it will reboot to the b partition also sometimes uh, usually uh, the percentage you see here only goes uh, till 47 and then it will finish it won't uh, reach uh, till 100 so if you if you feel like it is 47 it's just stuck and uh, uh, just uh, showing it is finished don't uh, uh, panic yeah as you see it will it just uh, went till 47 and then it is finished so here also it is showing uh, uh, some uh, errors which is fine and what i do again is i will just uh, go and uh, do the adb side load again right so in this particular uh, reload i will just uh, 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 flash the orange fox recovery again so this is important step because once you flash the rom uh, the recovery will go off so i am just uh, uh, making sure to flash it again also you see uh this particular uh, thing is currently in the a partition and uh, the installation uh, sorry b partition and installation happened in the a partition so uh, we need to make sure to first reboot to recovery and then check whether it is in a partition or b partition if it is in b partition then we are good we can just uh, directly boot it to the uh, os okay so now i will just uh, um reboot to the uh, recovery again so here it is telling now showing switch to a partition next time when i uh, boot it should show switch to b partition so yeah so if i click here it is still it's showing a uh, switch to b partition which means the active slot is a here you can see right it is telling slot a uh, is active switch to b partition which means uh, 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 now the reboot uh, just uh, switch the partition so i can just now directly reboot to the system hopefully it will boot the project infinity yeah so now we have successfully uh, getting it uh, booted in the uh, project infinity which is a good thing so uh, let me just uh, summarize the steps right so you need the unlocked bootloader we have made a video on how to uh, unlock the bootloader uh, and then you need to have the uh, recovery which is here uh, orange fox recovery and then you need adb fast boot uh, uh, device after that uh, you need uh, what Uh, the custom room whichever you want to install so these are all the steps and the commands which i have already shown in the video so you can follow the steps and you may need to install fast boot uh, uh, what for driver and other things which i have made a dedicated video so now we have booted into the uh, infinity uh, os 2.7 which is android 15 based so let me connect to wifi so i am setting the uh, fingerprint as well I'll add phase and lock as well. Yeah, it is done. Um, 
Um, no thanks. Um, no thanks. Now we are in the uh, Infinity uh, 27, which is based on Android 15. So I will open. Uh, yeah, we have a different uh, uh, style of things. I will open about phone, and then the uh, Android 15 vanilla ice cream. So here the uh, security patches. Uh, April 5th which is almost just uh, 10 days before that is great and uh, another excited thing that I was uh, waiting is this uh, Leica camera so yeah so we have this uh, Leica camera with uh, multiple settings we have HDR on option <laughs> so yeah that is great so I will post a few photos it has uh, still have some glitches do we have uh, 1080 60 fps nope uh, that is yeah we have it yeah but i don't think it will uh, uh, work so uh, we'll see all, all the things in the uh, upcoming video so yeah we have the leica camera which is great and then We even have uh, multiple options to customize it. We will uh, see all the things in the review of this one. So I will be using this one as my uh, primary device and I will post an update on those in the upcoming one on this uh, Redmi Note 11 series. So yeah, thanks for watching and this is what about uh, installing the Android 15 on Redmi Note 11. Code motor.